Washington, the nation's capital is stunned by the macabre situation. There is no panic, only paralysis, as the most powerful nation in the world is humbled by five men in a space cylinder hurtling towards the vicinity of Oakland, California. They're sending out the X-15. They're pulling out all the stops. There's no way these Martians can evade these guys. Triple on, Cheetah. Triple on, Cheetah. Advise, repeat, advise. Why have you broken retaliation silence? I have been stopped at 41,000 feet. No explanation. Instruments out. Now, the latest from Strategic Air Command Headquarters. Jets have finally been ordered aloft in an attempt to intercept the Martian craft. As you heard earlier, Command was initially reluctant to order retaliatory moves or interception of the craft until a positive identification or at least silhouette had been obtained. Our radar has been made impotent by the Martians, however, necessitating this desperate Hit or miss interception attempt. neutralized everything that scans, but they've left us voice channels. Does that mean they can't knock out our big transmitters? Any intelligence that can neutralize our big dishes on the coast could certainly kill our voice. No, there's another reason. What, sir? Well, they're letting us keep our big voice because voice can't determine their silhouette or reveal their position. There's another reason. So they can listen to us burn and enjoy their superiority all the more. So what do we do now, sir? The only thing we can do. Wait. Our first concern is chemicals. We need salts, ammonia, and brine. information was correct. This ice plant hasn't produced in years. Yes, our scale model was quite accurate. Our timetable is plotted very carefully. So listen, our 70 days in space have produced no apparent ill effects, but there are some warnings. Doctor? You've noticed a change in surface gravity. You are twice as heavy as you were on Mars. You will tire quickly. So rest whenever possible and choose your motions carefully. Since our tenure on Earth will be for 24 hours, do not, I repeat, do not eat any Earth food. You must continue your encapsulated diet from the tubes. This is a non-hostile mission. I see no need for the use of violence. If, however, you are confronted, you may resort to the use of hypnosis. Our immediate needs are Earth clothing, an automobile, Earth currency, and a map of the city and its environments. Fellow two, you and I will stay behind to check power lines and its sources in order to see what needs to be done in order to make Operation Sleep Freeze a reality. Fellow three, your job will be to get Earth currency and a map of the city. The best place to find these is at a fuel stop or what Earth men call a filling station.
Fellow Five, your assignment is Earth Apparel. Make your strike at the first shopping complex you come to. The locks on these doors are a tried tumbler design and should present no problem to you with the air knife. Remember, sizes must be exact from shoes to ties. Follow carefully the conversion charts between Earth and Mars. Fellow Four, transportation is your responsibility. We cannot rent or buy a vehicle, so it must be borrowed. To take any vehicle would invite interference by the police. We must be sure that the lender will not miss the car for at least 24 hours. Hey! Hey! Son of a bitch! Fuck out of the car! You son of a bitch! Get the fuck down on the ground! Ah! You son of a Get on the ground! Steal my fucking car, you shit rocket! What? What are you? What the fuck are you? These ties serve no functional purpose. The Red Planet abandoned ties 50 years ago as useless male vanity. It simply reveals the environmental naivety of the Earthmen. We seem to have made the conversion to Earthmen with no ill effects. It's unfortunate that Fellow 3 had to disable the gas attendant. Uh, about the car, um, I couldn't get it. Because Fellow 5 was unable to commandeer a vehicle, we will be forced to ride Bay Area Rapid Transit, otherwise known as BART. You've all been well rehearsed in every conceivable situation, even down to Earth slang. And you are now, for all practical purposes, Earthmen. Doctor? Our time is short, considering in the next 20 hours each of us will have to survey, choose, examine the medical records of, and abduct a female meeting the specific qualifications of Operation Sleep Freeze. Because Earthmen place all their faith in luck rather than scientific certainties, I wish you all luck.